This is Coogan Cassis Rifle TV in association with MTK Global at Norwich at the Kickstop Gym here, back in Norwich, Bill. Back here, mate. Uh, I'm joined by middleweight Billy Bird. Uh, it's been a while, Bill. Yeah, it has, mate. Been out of the ring for about a year now. Yeah, what's yeah. been the reason for that? Uh, I've been I've been out due to an injury that I've done in sparring with uh, with a gym mate, Nathan Dell. Uh, went over on my ankle, twisted it, caused a lot of ligament damage. Uh, tried to come back too early, and then done more damage, and then. Um, but I've been back since Christmas training now. Just wanted to get a few things right uh, in camp and that, which I've done. And uh, fighting here on the 3rd of June. 3rd of June here yeah. in Norwich, yeah. No, in Braintree, Essex. Oh, in Braintree, yeah, Braintree okay. Essex, yeah, right on my doorstep. Yeah. So it's ideal for me. Literally bad. roll out of bed. Literally yeah. roll out of the door. Literally. Um, there's been a little thing going on with you and uh, Sam Stokes, isn't there? Yeah, there was, mate. Uh, a few, few, well, months ago now, he called me out on a, an interview done with yourselves. Uh, he was meant to win a fight which I think he ended up thinking he was in a dog fight because he bit the geezer. Uh don't know what that was all about and then he was going to fight me next so but obviously he done that and he got himself a six month ban I believe so that kind of put that on hold for the minute but I believe he's back fighting now so hopefully uh, get my fight out the third out of the way then um, Sam Stokes will be coming for you. Yeah is that yeah. a fight that oh, ticks the box for you? Yeah. Oh, I'd love it you know? just see if we can try and get it for a big fight big title fight whatever you can, he can come down to me, I'll come down to him, it doesn't bother me. It's, let's get the fight to happen and he's got a few things to say and uh, I'll let this sort it out. Well, we know Sam, so if uh, Sam is watching this, he's obviously welcome to reply and uh, 100%. get it going. 100%, you know, I've seen him box a few times, he's seen me box a few times, so if he thinks he's got uh, something to explore, give it a go, mate, that's what I'm going to say. Absolutely, you know in IFL we love a bit of beef, don't we? So, yeah, we uh, do. There we go. Uh, British boxing, obviously flying at the moment, uh, just so many talking points, but obviously the last big talking point was uh, Anthony Joshua and, and Vladimir Klitschko. Bill, did you watch it? Obviously you did. Yeah, I watched it. Great fight. If I'm honest, I was backing Klitschko points, if I'm totally honest. I thought Klitschko was going to do it on points, but got to take credit to Joshua. You know, what a fight he done. You know, he got off the canvas where he looked like one stage, it was in gone, and to come back and put him over and, and win the fight in the 11th round. Credit to him and credit to Klitschko. You know, it was it's got to be hard at that age. You know, he put himself through them training camps at the age that he's at, and but he's the better man on the night one. And you can't can't take no credit away. It's, let's just get uh, Fury back in the mix. Let's get him on it. Yeah, absolutely. We, we British boxing, we, we need, need Fury, Fury back. back definitely. I mean, yeah. they're talking about a huge fight that could happen next year. Fury's having a hearing this week, so you know we'll know a little bit more by the end of the week. But who wins that fight? Oh, fingers crossed. Oh, obviously. Fury comes back and he's, he's all, all ready to go then the the Tyson Fury that boxed Klitschko is the Tyson Fury that will beat Anthony Joshua you know yeah. he'll win I believe he'll beat him on points yeah. um, and he won't only just beat him in the ring he'll beat him before he gets in the ring you know just one thing about Fury he gets inside every fighter's head and he knows what he's doing he, he's the better man in my eyes and that's my opinion hmm. but that, I mean that fight causes a lot of divided uh, opinion which is right, rightly so but if we can get that on somewhere, maybe even Wembley again next year, it's huge. Oh, definitely. It's a, it's a great fight for British boxing, you know. It's same as the Joshua Klitschko. He pulled in 90,000 people, you know what I mean? It's, that's about the people watching it all over the, all the screens and that. Got to give credit to Eddie Earn what he's doing at the minute, you know. He's, he's bringing British boxing back on the scene where it should be. Um, I think it's a very underrated sport at the minute. Only the likes of Eddie Earn doing what he's doing now, bringing it back and this getting every Joe Bloggs off the street to recognise what actually, as a boxer, everyone goes through, you know, all the training that we have to do. And it's, it's nice to, for them guys to get the recognition that they're getting and just keep bringing the bigger fights in and that's, that's what we want. All right, well, no problem. Bill, have you got anything else you want to say? No, just uh, Sam Stokes, hurry up and uh, keep yourself training, mate, and we'll see, we'll see after the 3rd of June what, what we can arrange. Definitely, we might even do a little uh, Bird versus Stokes gloves are off. Cool, that'd be lovely, that would. Get it heated gang, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe have, uh, we'll have our, to put our a, mate over there in yeah. the middle. We'll have to get my dog muzzle on. We'll have to put a dog muzzle on him. I don't want him biting me because I know he's got the tender of like, the bite people. So I don't want to make any comment on that. We'll, we'll, have to just, uh, <laughs> we'll have to watch him on that one. <laughs> All right, well, listen, Billy, thank you very much. Nah, nice TV, and, uh, listen, we'll catch up with you again soon, mate. Yeah, lovely. Cheers, mate. All right, top man.